Back again with another amp test. Uh, this time it's going to be the Sony XCS M3 two channel amp. I believe it's rated 150 times 2 4 ohms. I'll look up the ratings and I'll put them up in uh, tech. But yeah, I've seen a few tests of this online. No video though. So I figured I'd put this up there and see what it does. As you can see, I'm right at 14.5 volts. Got it set with the DD1. And I've got track four plan, which is the one kilohertz test. So I'll unpause this and we'll see what we get. There we go, 172, not too bad. Now keep in mind that is one channel, not both channels loaded. And I was about 14.2 volts on that. That's not too bad. I'm gonna charge up the battery bank a little bit and then we'll do the bridge test forums. I don't have two on load, so I can't test that way, but uh, we'll just take the uh, bridge forum test. Okay, I'm ready for the uh, forum mono test. As you can see, I'm a little over 15 volts. I've got the head unit set to one, which is 40 hertz, uh, because forum's mono, obviously going to be using a sub, most likely. Don't pay no attention to this. This is just the battery that's hooked up to turn that on. Now, don't be a fool like me and try to do this test with it in stereo mode because I just did that and I got zero results. But, with that said, we've got it set. We're still a little over 14.9. All right, let's fire this off and see what we got. 545. Not too bad, and that was at 14.6 volts. I believe that's what it's rated. 500, a little overrated, so not too bad. This is a solid amp. This thing really sounds good. And I'm fixing to send this along with three other XCS amps to my buddy, so I had fun while I played with it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and share, and do all that type of stuff. And uh, if you want to see my videos early, check me out on facebook.com slash i5vega. Also, drop a comment in there and let me know what you think about these tests, or if you'd rather see other kind of content.